Hey, what's up, gamers? Uh, Doctor Gaming here, and uh, today we're gonna be playing another surgery game. Uh, this is um, virtual knee replacement. So, um, sorry I didn't make a video like earlier. I'm uh, making one now because I had to go somewhere this morning, so I was busy. But now I'm back, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and play the surgery. Let's get in. Welcome to Virtual Knee Surgery. Hello. This activity will show you the process of replacing a failing knee joint. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Today, our patient is a 76 year old man. It, it is mandatory to check the patient's vital signs before beginning surgery. An anesthesiologist in the operating room performs this step. If My the patient's vital signs are not in the normal so ranges, we will not proceed this. with the surgery. Okay. Using the healthy person's vital sign chart as a cool. reference, can our patient undergo surgery today? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to go with yes, because that's what usually happens. It looks happens. like surgery will proceed as planned. Take okay. a moment to look at our patient's x-rays. Which knee do you think needs surgery? I'm going to say the left, because it looks darker. You're right. His left knee appears yeah, yeah, worn yes. down and lacking cartilage, which is likely the cause of his pain. The lacking nurse has cartilage. begun prepping our patient for surgery by placing an IV needle in his right hand. Isn't cartilage now, like the thing your in turn. your nose? Use what? the marker and write your initials on the proper knee to be operated on. This may seem silly, but it's an actual step taken to prevent wrong site surgeries. Very mm. silly. Wait, you want me to write my name on his left leg? Nope. Which one's it? Okay. It's hard to tell because like, he's like this way, so it's a little bit hard to tell. You know what my initials going to be? Wait. Poop face. That's my initials, The anesthesiologist son. administers drugs <laughs> through the IV and it through a mask over it. the patient's face. I honestly thought what they would say no. What these drugs perform? Okay, I'm gonna go with the. E I'm gonna go with the ones that have most words, cause you know, science and describing everything. So anti-inflammatory. I'm gonna go nope. with that. What? Good work. Yep, that one. Am's music to make the patient Great. forget the surgery. And between these two, I'm gonna say this one, cause it makes the most sense to make the patient happy. Fantastic. Yeah. After the patient Gaming is unconscious, Fantastic. and before the first incision is made, okay. we need to establish a sterile field around the surgical area. Okay. A series of sterile drapes isolates the surgical field from the rest of the patient's body. A tourniquet is applied to cut off blood flow, which allows a clearer view of the surgical field during surgery. Why well, do I have to cut to off blood flow? kill the bacteria flow. on the patient's leg, clean it in a betadine solution. Beta this scrubbing What's process betadine? will limit the chance of bacterial infection. What's betadine? Okay, so I'll take the sponge, dip it in that shit, I don't know what that is. He just said some betadine solution, something or something like that. Betadine scrub is applied two more times, followed by the final arrangement of sterile drapes. What? What did he just Why say? do you think knee surgery involves so many drapes? To protect the patient's new prosthetic. I mean, that makes sense. Plus, I said I'm going to go with the one that's the biggest word. Good work. So. Yeah, good Use work. Use the sterile marker to draw the location for our incision. And don't forget to mark the perpendicular lines, too. Typically, the incision line is six to seven inches long. Can I, like, scribble around? Can I, like, wait, I want to do something funny. Shit. Didn't work. What purpose do you think the perpendicular lines serve? To help align nope. the knee. What? How does it not help align the knee? To indicate where the nope. knee... Okay. To increase sternly around the knee... Okay, I'm gonna go with the bigger Outstanding. one. Outstanding. Now, for the incision... Really? Take the scalpel and cut the skin following your markings. I have to cut the skin? Yeah! Let's use the bovie pencil to cauterize the veins. Yeah, that's what the knee this looks like inside. It looks weird. Not here. nasty. Like, not like that ingrown toenail removal surgery. But weird. The rake retractors fold the skin and tissue out of the way. Oh, that's your bones? 
To operate, Those we need the new. patient's knee elevated and bent so the bones are fully exposed. Let's like bend it around and see what happens. <laughs> oh shit, it doesn't work. Now the leg is at the proper angle. Okay. Use the rongeur to remove the anterior cruciate ligaments like or ACL, French? the meniscus, and any bone spurs that may be lurking about. Lurking about. Snip, snap, snap, snip, snippers. Is that Are it? you a good sculptor? Mm -mm. It's time to shape the femur, tibia, and, and patella so the new knee components fit properly. A hole must be drilled inside the femur to set up the distal femoral cutting jig and alignment device. The what? The distal femoral cutting jig is put into position and helps ensure that the cuts made to the bone More like are exactly what are needed. Now hammer in the pins to hold the jig. Why? Ooh, that looks painful. We can now remove the alignment device. The pins will hold the jig firmly in place. Now for some real bone shaping. Mm. Use the bone saw to cut bone the bone saw. so it is prepared for the new femoral component. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. What? Another cutting jig along with the bone saw allows us to finish shaping the femur. Why? This is like, like this is not a museum, Let's move on and okay? The, tibia. the tibial cutting this is jig not a is new museum or something that were like sculpturing things. This like. will ensure the leg is properly aligned after surgery. Secure the jig in place with more pins. I'll leave a link in the description for this, so you guys can try this out. Use the bone saw to cut off the top of the tibia. The and name. prepare it for the oh, new Oh god! Again! Components. Again! Ah! Now we'll use the patellar cutting jig and bone saw to remove the back of our patient's patella. The patellar jig? Okay, are you just gonna do the same thing again? Ooh. Holes in the tibia and patella are drilled and chiseled out, which will enable the new components to attach properly. Time to place the trial components. First, Attach the femoral trial component. How does it attach components? Attach the metal tray trial component to the tibia. Insert the plastic trial spacer into the metal tray component. Lastly, attach the patellar trial component. Why do you think the two tibial components are inserted separately instead no. of a range of motion tests to assure what, what do you what do you and successful what are you saying? prosthetic fit. Typically, a normal range of motion allows the leg to move from zero to knees aren't meant to bend sideways. So it's important to determine whether there is a gap or space between the femoral and tibial components. There is no noticeable gap, so this knee is a good fit. Why do you think there are so many Great. steps taken to ensure proper alignment? We've tested the trial components. Now let's remove them and prepare for the permanent components by applying a special okay, I'm not adding no more components! You know what? There's a site map up here. I'm gonna. Meant for you to use. I'm gonna wait. Shaping, no shaping, no cement. C closing incision. Our patient's new knee is looking good. Let's yep. close up the incision. First, suture the deep tissue and fat layers back together. Suture, suture. For closing the surface incision, you have a choice between the stapler and the suture. Let's staple up that knee, boy. That looks painful. What is the primary difference between these know. two methods of closing the incision? You no, know, we couldn't ask for a better participant. Yeah. You've done an excellent job. Are you sure this is your first total knee replacement? Yeah, the I'm patient sure. patient will remain in the hospital for three days, followed by what? three to eight weeks of physical therapy. Because of I this surgery, like that. our patient will have significantly reduced pain and increased mobility. Before you leave, let's think about the life of the new oh knee. Oh my components. god, no, I don't want to... What kind of forces do you think the new knee will need nice to withstand? Job. People average about 5,000 steps per day. Our patient's what? new prosthetics will withstand a great deal of force for 36 million steps or more. I'm off to check on another patient while the OR team prepares the room for the next surgery. You've been a great help. See you next time. Yeah, as always, Gaming Nation, 
so that leaves it for this episode. As always, Gaming Nation, all gamers, show it style. Peace.